Hello everyone, this is Sam Car Legion. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another review. And also today we have a competition review. This is the new 2022 Genesis G70. This is the 3.3T. It is the V6 twin turbo making 365 brake horsepower. It is newly redesigned for this year. So what do we have in terms of exterior design? It has new headlights, new grille, more aggressive, beautiful headlights, and overall changes on the rear end, the exhaust tips, the tail lights as well. And also we have an interesting color today for this model. This is quite an impressive vehicle. It offers quite a lot on the interior, a lot of tech features. The interior hasn't changed completely. Now we also have a new infotainment display and the cluster offers new features that is, of course, different from the previous gen. But technically, the interior, it's kind of the same as the uh, previous generation. This thing is quite a machine, but is it as good as the competitors? And today, we're going to compare it against the BMW M340i, which competes directly to this. The only difference is this doesn't cost the same as the BMW. But is it as good as the BMW? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. And of course, we're going to put them head to head to find out which one is the fastest out of these two vehicles. I also have done other comparisons which will be published in the future, so don't forget to subscribe. And special thanks for this video goes to uh, my good friend Raj who offered his vehicle since it wasn't available as a press car to compare the vehicle's bone stock and it's almost brand new. So it makes a perfect comparison against the G70. Today we have come to uh, Cayuga, Toronto Motorsport to find out which one is the fastest out of these two vehicles. So, let's start. So let's find out which one is the fastest. Well, I kind of know because the M340i won the first, just the simple run we did. So now we're going to do it again. Um, special thanks for this video goes to Raj for bringing his M340i. I couldn't find a press car. So I reached out to a gentleman located in Ontario, Canada. He was kind enough to join us. If you don't know more about him or you want to reach out to him, the link will be in the description box. But uh, let's have some fun. It's extremely hot today and it's a good thing because it will get traction. Okay, boys, so the first run we're gonna do is in normal mode, the traction is on, nothing turned off like you drive normally, and then we'll do it again. But now we're gonna do, just touch the brakes a little bit, just so the car doesn't move, and then pedal to the metal, no launch control. Sounds good. Michael, I am ready.
Michael, I am already on my side. but not that quick. You're like six car ahead of me, man. It's insane, the under is crazy. Like that doesn't make what BMW says. That's definitely making over 400 horsepower.
the Genesis is a fantastic car. It's amazing what they've done and, and for the price you get so much. When it comes to power, this was where things change, as you saw. The M340i, it's quick. It's pretty quick off the line. The problem I see with the Genesis is the fact that it doesn't like launch controllers as much. And I've noticed that with the Kia Stinger. Some of you guys will say, well, Sam, you didn't know how to launch your launch. That's not true at all. The fact this car is that it doesn't like launch controls like most uh, cars. Like that, for example, was that actually pushed the brakes uh, the man was was the car moved faster he couldn't hold with the brake so that's the difference it's a fantastic car for the price maybe a bit of tune could change things a little bit but overall this thing it's pretty quick and I'm quite impressed with what they've done with the Genesis but the M340i took it so that just shows you the difference in terms of price and of course power with that in mind thanks for watching cheers